Prior to Joe Lozon's latest victory, where the Massachusetts native earned yet another post-fight bonus check, the UFC lightweight staple experienced one of life's great joys as he became a father for the first time. But just six days after his son's birth, newborn Joey was diagnosed with cancer and thus began the greatest fight of both of their lives. Since I was 16 years old, I've always had a fight coming up. I've always been training. It's always been like the most important thing. You know, everything else took like kind of a backseat. And then Joey came around. He's like number one. Everything revolves around him now. We had no reason to think that he wasn't gonna be a healthy baby. So when he was born and he had cancer, you know, that was tough. Um, yeah. So right now we're gonna go to my parents' house and I'm gonna drop off a whole bunch of t-shirts for the walk tomorrow. We're doing a walk in Boston. It's all raising money just for the Jimmy Fund. The Jimmy Fund works with Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and they do a walk every year. We organized a team called Team Joey. We made some t-shirts and we're all gonna walk together and support all the little patients who are little cancer fighters. The Jimmy Fund is where we went uh, for all of Joey's treatment, like doing MRIs and x-rays and all that kind of stuff. Like that all happens at the Jimmy Fund. The day Joey was born, when he came out, he was not breathing. They had the NICU team there already, and they intubated him, put a tube down his throat. He still wasn't breathing. And they're like kind of all looking around at each other and not know what's going on. You know, and then he started breathing, he let out a gasp. It was like the weakest cry you've ever heard. It was like really, really tough. It was like heartbreaking to hear. Like, at first we thought like, oh, maybe just a little fluid in his lungs. And uh, they did a bunch of x-rays, did a bunch of tests. The only specialist that came to us was oncology. We were not happy to hear, you know, they were oncologists right off the bat. Why are the cancer doctors here talking to us? Like, this is crap. Like, they, they, they should not be the people that are here with us. They did a biopsy, they confirmed what it was. Our ultimate diagnosis was neuroblastoma stage four S. He was like seven days old and he was already starting chemotherapy. We felt super helpless for all the, you know, treatment and stuff like that. The first round of chemotherapy really knocked him on his butt. You know, it's hard for adults to handle chemo, so you could just see that he felt so terrible. The tumor was putting so much pressure on his spine, like everything was like displaced, it was all moved. So like they kept coming in to make sure he was actually moving his legs. We cried a lot, we cried a lot. Um, the biggest thing is we just try to be strong for Joey. That was, uh, that was the big thing. There was one night we really didn't know if he was going to make it, and that was a really tough night. There was really, you know, there was lots of tears, lots of silence, and there was. Yeah. Medium for Ashley. Three extra biggie. Large for you. Okay. There's all of them? Yep. How many people are coming? We have like 45 or 50. Quite a few. Well, you should be good. Yeah. I was done fighting. I, I thought that was gonna be the end of it. It's really tough to be a fighter. You have to be super committed. You have to be a little bit selfish about things. I thought I'm gonna feel like a bad father if I'm not there and I, I'm not able to do the things I need to do. We got very good advice from one of the surgeons at the Jimmy Fund who said, you need to go back to work. You need to take care of yourself so you can take care of him. We were, you know, we were at the hospital for you know, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. You know, it was after like a couple weeks. It was like shadow boxing, like in the, like the waiting room. And, and I was just, I was going a little bit stir crazy. It was like a big part of me was like kind of missing. You could see it in his eyes that he needed to be at the gym. He needed to be training. Katie was a rock star. She just did an awesome, awesome job about, you know, making sure I could do all the things I needed to do. I don't want him to end his career because we're going through this. It's kind of a weird fight camp for us because our, our schedule couldn't really be set in stone the way it had been in, you know, in the past. It definitely was the first time where you know, training wasn't the most important thing. But at the end of the day, if I went really, really well, I fought Mike Chiesa. Uh, I ended up hitting him with a knee and you know, cutting him pretty badly over his eye and they stopped the fight. You are undefeated as a father. Congratulations, man. But it's certainly been a challenging year for you with Joey and everything else. You know, I really appreciate the support. And yeah, you know, it was a really rough start to the year, but it, it's going smooth now. I'm really thankful. Having a baby that's so sick, who's gone through so much, Joe just wanted to do a really good job, I think, for Joey. Luckily, we did three rounds of chemotherapy and then no surgery, no radiation. So he, we were really, really lucky. He responded to treatment really, really well. July 3rd, we got, uh, they call it NED, which is no evidence of disease. 
that was probably the happiest day. Happier than the day he was born. I mean, it was great when he was born, but it was super scary. There's been zero cases of this cancer after it's gone away coming back. So, I mean, things have gone much, much better than we ever could have hoped. The Jimmy Fund was great for Joey. You know, they saved his life because of, you know, research and all the stuff that they know now about this cancer. You know, he's going to lead, you know, a pretty normal, happy life. And without that money, he, that would not be the case. If we can raise all the money we can, you know, if it'll help out one family one time, you know, that's worth it. Now we're great. Joey has a clean bill of health. Joe is back at the gym. Joe's winning his fights. I keep saying, you know, he, he's the real fighter in the family. He kicked cancer's ass. Uh, you know, he's one to know. I've got my butt kicked a few times, but Joey's undefeated. The Boston Marathon Jimmy Fun Walk saw more than 8,800 participants follow the 26.2 mile course to honor loved ones for their battles with cancer. For more information about the fundraiser and the foundation that helped save Joey Lozon's life, we encourage you to visit JimmyFunWalk.org.